Hey there guys, Joel Gaming YT here and welcome to episode 21 of the FIFA 15 Arsenal career mode and I've, it's been a long time since I've done uh, commentary for FIFA 15 it's been like a couple of weeks now because of the uh, festive period but now it is coming back and also I've uploaded a couple of videos of GTA as well just to keep the channel going but start of this episode we make a contract offer to Mara Fellaini who, who does accept, I will remember this, he does accept, but I didn't actually add it into the record, um, clips. But to start of the episode, again, we go into game against West Brom and Chalbion. Uh, being behind Chelsea on goal difference, I believe it is, but this is our game in hand over them. And this, that's their line it's, you know, it's, a, it's an alright line -up. West Brom have got some good players. You know, e Day's quite good, um, Session's really good as well. I don't think they have Fabian Share in mind, I can't remember. But anyway, they get off to. <clears throat> well, we get off to a horrible start. We give away a penalty, which I thought was a little bit harsh, you know. I guess you could say Rodriguez was on the wrong side of him, but they don't show the replay. And yeah, they do have Fabian Share. I didn't quite see him in the lineups, but it must be a bit blurry. But Fabian Share has got fantastic penalties. Puts into uh, top. Well, top left. Uh, on his from his angle, top right from Sugu, just m missing out on saving that. Real shame that we couldn't save that penalty. But Fabian Shea, he's got one of the best penalties, I believe it's about 83 ish. I know it's uh, in the 80s, but I can't remember uh, how high it is. But it's around by the 80 mark, between 80 and 90, I know that. And we then, well, don't know what happened here, but Foster, mate, you, you can't be doing that, especially with Gertz around. Foster makes a huge mistake, gives it away to Gertz, who, well, we pretty much tugs him. And he slots it home into the back of the net for a 1-0, well, 1-0. I was nearly said 1-0 victory there. <laughs> but uh, to pull us 11 times, and that's a nice goal there for Mario Gertz, who, remember, at the start of the season, was getting a few goals. But now, going off the bubble a little bit. You know, he's still a fantastic little player, and that is 1-0, and there's a nice goal there, and that's how the game finishes. So we go into our next game, which is against Southampton. Obviously, we played them in real life, obviously at St. Mary's, and yeah, <laughs> not going to say what happened in that game, because we should all know what happened in that game. But um, yeah, well, again we go into this game second place. We are we are now two points behind Chelsea, but we do have a game in hand. So again, we can still go top if we can beat Southampton. But as you can see, this is Lukaku down left hand side, plays into Giovanni de Santos, and what a finish that is by Giovanni de Santos on the twenty second minute. Lovely turn and a lovely finish with his left foot. I don't, I think he is. I'm not sure if he's left footed or right footed. <laughs> I need to check that out, but nice touch, nice turn, and a nice finish into the back of net to give us a 1-0 one 1-0 lead. Arsenal, see, this that's how you score. <laughs> that's how you score goals against Southampton. But then they come through, it's Rodriguez. I mean, I don't know what I was doing. My players just all over the place, and yeah. Jay Rodriguez has got Southampton back on level turns on the 60th minute. And at this point, I was like, no, we cannot be dropping any points. We dropped points again. So look, <laughs> look at my two players just falling over each other. I think it might be Phil Jones had at that time, who I'm not actually impressed with. You'll see in the, in the coming games, I do actually decide to drop him because I've not been really impressed. He's not, an, if I'm honest, he's not really an 84 rated defender. And there's a nice shot there by, don't know who that was. Might be Wilshere. I can't quite remember. I don't think it was Wilshere. Might have been say. Make some substitutions here. Um, for some reason, I gave it to Dos Santos to take the corner, but I didn't want it to be Dos Santos. I gave it to Alexis. As you can see, we will whip this ball in. It's whipped in, and Aaron Ramsey! You know, he's not known for his heading abilities, but that is a nice jump, a nice header, and into the back of net for a, to give us a 2 1 lead. Quite near, to, quite near the end of the game as well, which is always quite nice. We like scoring near to. Uh, towards the end of the games, but nice header into the back of net pass. I think it was Fraser Foster. I think it was Fraser Foster rather in goal for Southampton, and we win that game 2 1. And now we're going to the next Premier League game again. We're at home, it's a bit more difficult this time. We are up against Southampton, and we have to be careful. Ah, they have Cavani. 
Cavani is up front for Newcastle. Newcastle for Manchester City. We need to try and stop him, really. No, we, it's still a strong lineup. Um, I did actually play. I think I think I played Walk up front. Yeah, Walk up front. Lex is playing on the left with Chamberlain on the right because some players were a little bit knackered, which I thought was a bit strange. <laughs> but then again, yeah, we got some game, a few games like in and around each other. Let's see. We play up. It's Daniel Welbeck. He turns. And it's a save by Joe. Hart. Oh no, Willy Caballero! I don't know what happened. I don't know where Joe Hart is. Um, might be injured or might be suspended. I do not know. But we have a corner here. It's going to be Alexis Sanchez with a corner, whipped in and cleared out. It's coming up to Chamberlain and <laughs> nice finish into the back in it. Side foots it, bit of a loft on it, bit of power. And Alex Oxley Chamberlain scores on the 21st minute to give us a 1 0 lead over Manchester City. That's a nice, nice control and a little, you could say that's a little bit of a chip there. Mm, sort of, I don't <laughs> I can't quite tell, but it got a lot of power behind it. But that is a nice finish by um, Alex Oxley Chamberlain, who I've not really been using because he hasn't really grown. He's still 78 overall. And, but. Oh, oh um, just to let you know, I have recorded the next video. I just got to cut it down into highlights. And while I was saying that, Fernando, what a finish that was. I mean, I, co I can't really defend. You can't really defend that. You can't really get a goalkeeper saved. I don't. I mean, wow. That is, that is a nice finish by Fernando. I'll give that to him. But we should really be defending better, though. But as you can see, they are now on the attack again. It's Edison Cavani. He's going to keep running. I pull up Koscielny. Try attacking him. Doesn't quite work. He plays into Negredo. And we are now 2-1 down against Manchester City. I do admit they are a very, very decent team. Uh, you know, with Cavani and Negredo playing up front. You know, they've got David Silva. they got uh, Yaya Torre Fernando. Uh, they're, 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 oh. I just don't know what to do. <laughs> But here we go, this is Lukaku, no, uh, tell a lie, we actually cut into uh, Walcott, and there you go, it's 2-1, uh, and that's on the 82nd minute, Theo Walcott getting a goal, and it's, and it's uh, Jack Wilsh who provided that goal, Neil turn, keeps on running, Sots and Plaza with the Caballero, or have you bloody pronounced his name, we then make uh, substitutions with Lukaku and other players coming on. So yeah, that Walker made it to, and I believe that's how the game ended. Yeah, it was. That's how the game ended. So we dropped points against Manchester City, which isn't too bad, you know. And now we're going to, well, an easier, an, an easier game now. We're up against Cardiff City at the Emirates. We've had quite, we've had quite a few um, home games in this episode, haven't we? Which is a little bit strange because we don't usually get that many um, home games, but. And somehow in this episode we have, and I tell you what, we scored quite a few goals against Cardiff, and Marigos says tackles well, throw and goal, nothing came of it, don't worry. But then Walker crosses in the ball, and I think that was headed over by a defender, I'm not too sure. Yeah, it's a corner, which gives us another great opportunity to score a goal, and, you know, put more pressure on Chelsea and Cardiff to get <laughs> uh, the points away, to take the points away from us. So what do we do? Well, we're going to use Goetze, we're going to whip it in, and we're going to score a header with Giovanni Dos Santos, which I believe is his second league goal since joining, which is, no, it's really good, you know, I like having strikers who score goals, and obviously there's no replay, so that's a real shame, but a lofted ball over into Goetze, what's he going to do? Pass it across. Is Ramsey going to get there? Oh, of course he does. I try and make Ramsey not celebrate. Uh, like, no, show respect because it's against his form club. But he didn't want to. For some reason. But that was a nice goal right across. Well, well nice pass right across the face of goal. And Ramsey from it. Again, another improbable angle. That's, 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 that's a few goals now I've scored from impossible angles. And we are now 2 0 up against Cardiff. <coughs> and that. And we'll just come up to half time. Ramsey plays into Giovanni dos Santos. Plays it back into Ramsey. What's he going to do? He's going to shoot. And he's going to score his second against Cardiff. So he's now got two goals against his former club, which is a. Uh, which I don't think has happened before. Maybe it has. I can't remember. <laughs> but there, yeah, that's a nice goal by Aaron Ramsey. I think that's. 
Out of, the two, out of his two goals, I think I preferred his first one. Because it's from an improbable angle. And, yeah. So, we, we send the ball in and it's 4-0. This time, Romelu Lukaku. I think that was um, Pedro with the corner in. Or it might be been Alex. I can't quite remember. I would need to try and check. I think it might... I don't know who it was. <laughs> but, anyway, it's a nice corner in. And Lukaku with a nice header. Puts it into the back of net to make it uh, 4-0. So, oh yeah, it is Pedro because he's number 24. For some reason, Pedro is number 24. I did not give him the number 24 shirt, but, oh well. It's now 4-0. Romelu Lukaku again, more goals, which is great to see. And just saying that there is one more goal in this episode. Are Cardiff going to get consolation or are we going to make it 5? Well, they've kicked off. And we're, and we're on the ball now, so it's Giovanni. He's just going to keep going. He's going to keep going. He's going to keep going. He's going to fire it. He's going to fire it low and hard. And it's into the back of net. It is now 5 0. So it was us who got that fifth goal, not Cardiff. Unfortunately for Cardiff, they. We just came up with. Uh, we were just a much stronger team, weren't we? And we are 5 0 up against Cardiff. And then I decided to make some substitutions. I come. Who do I throw on? I take off Gertz for Wilshire. Uh, Alexis comes on for Pedro, uh, actually no, Walcott, and Ramsey comes off for, I was, I think Fellaini was injured at the time, so I had to put in um, Phil Jones, who can actually play CDM, but if I'm honest, I am looking to get rid of um, Phil Jones, because he is a bit of a liability, he's not actually that good, even though he's rated 84, so that's a shame, so Jones won't be at the club for much longer, and this is the Premier League table, we are top, by a couple of points, but Chelsea do have a game in hand on us, which is a bit of a shame. I think they have a game in hand over, over us, I'm not too sure. But as you can see, boom, it's West Brom, Cardiff and West Ham. West Ham bottom, which is quite surprising. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this, and if so, please leave a like, please subscribe as well, and I'll see you next time.